All right, mind going through it all one more time to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened? The night when the Great Fairy hid herself away. Here we go, Great Fairy. Well, we had our accident here one awful night sometime after the upheaval. We saw the Great Fairy nearby, vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our whole sp our horse bolted away. Uh, off it ran into the night. But the real tragedy that involved one of our crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broken now we can't even transport our instruments to performances. But since that night the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. Seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Whatever reason the great fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. Both Breeze are down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. <laughs> the one who caused all this. The blonde-haired woman, you say? Hmm. That'd have been... Probably Zelda. Oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. I have been standing here for like three minutes. You have perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Well, that's something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. My reporter and things are calling out. Could the mystery woman be her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Of course we can't put anything to print until uh, we're sure it's true, so we have to talk to the Great Fairy first. Ah. Oh, that's the purple puff. They say she really likes this musical troupe and that's why she's moved near the stable recently. A Great Fairy who loves this troupe's musical performance? That alone is something worth looking into. Oh. We mustn't forget that the Great Fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. If only we had a way to reach her. Breezer is broken, and we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone, so we're stuck here. Alright. Looks like we got... Some fixing up to do. Okay, that's the... This is not my strong suit. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna fix that. Okay, well that is fixed. Her name is Violin? I'll take you. That seems a little on point. Okay, now y'all... Again, I'll get my own horse. As long as they're fine with that. I'm still so sad I can't pet the dog. Hi! See, I can't give it belly rubs or anything. I love you. Biggest downgrade. Ugh. Take a horse. Oh, um. I need to bo <laughs> Oops! I forgot I still had a horse somewhere out there. We'll take out Shelby. Take horse. Ah, oh, she's so pretty. Oh. 
go home. Oh. Mm. Oh. Come on. Oh, good lord. Okay, um... <laughs> that I can move them a lot easier. Oh, calm down. There we go. That's good enough, right? Gotta go up to the fountain. Oh, y'all are... Why are they making those noises? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's fair. I almost... Alright, Maestro, lead us into performance. Our little troop must play with all the heart we can for the great fairy. Come on, great fairy. I hope these guys are okay. Aww. Okay, Mario. Yeah, yeah. That's 100% supposed to be like Mario. <laughs> Are these the horny fairies? Yes. <laughs> Behold, violin. Or violin. The great fairy graces us with her presence. Ah. Truly divine. Well, look at this! You really helped out here, partner. I flew as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. But this is... a great fairy. Huh? Ah, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess, Ocel Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was heading spreading over the land, and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. Hmm. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark of the night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our, reporter, our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding. That's a big scoop! I want to take wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. We've worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Princess Zelda, so go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Yes. Oh, and there's this. It's from Tracy. Oh. So Hateno's Hateno Village's dye shop in Nekluda has started up a new service that has something to do with fabrics. I know, I know, I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing over this fabric, but still. The point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. It would be nicer if Tracy handled things a bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. Okay, I'm going to take this story and head back. The article will keep readers hanging on to every word. Soar along! Nice. Astro, I thought 
The rest of the musicians left our troupe because they didn't like how I played my violin. Violin, that wasn't it at all. Why, you moved the heart of the Great Fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I've heard the other Great Fairies were also hiding away in their buds. I bet you... I, or I bet if you, I mean we, played music for them, that cheered them up too. Brilliant idea, and you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop, the stable trotters. Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for now, but oh, just you wait. I just know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Now that's decided. We should get ready for our journey, Violin. Now we're getting the band back together. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. Nice. Okay, now it's my turn to meet Hi. the fairy. I was about to return to my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. Mm -hmm. And you will find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Was near the stable in Hyra. Asa is near a stable in Hyrule. Uh... Oh. I'm worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel so much better. May I ask? If you find the other buds, can you talk to my sisters? Oh, and while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes for you? With the powers available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Oh. Uh, yes, please. Mm. Mm. <sighs> See, they don't sound that horny. <laughs> Enhance away. Mm. May as well get her to enhance all my clothing, you know, since we're here. Oh. Beautiful! Oh. Got everything enhanced. We're still gonna get our butt kicked, but maybe a little bit less. Mm. <laughs> See you later. Nice. Yay! We got a fairy fountain! Oh god, is my horse gone? Well... Those musicians stole my horse! Okay. Let's do this temple. Or shrine, or whatever we want to call them. Echo Chi. Rise and fall. Okay. Huh. 
Alrighty. Let's see, okay, we figured this out. This is easy enough. Oh, sick, yeah, I don't want that. Hell yeah. Let's see. Like, this is gonna launch it. Oh my god, I almost fucked that up! Ooh. I'm good, I'm a little sleepy, um, but I'm very happy. I th When I was traveling home to see my family, I thought I lost a plush that Cleffa gave me, one of our children. Uh, but thankfully they found it at the airport, so I was able to- go I, I went today to go get it. <laughs> I can't believe we found 50 Koroks. I honestly can't remember how many Koroks people said there were again. I know there was a lot. That's pretty. Oh, it just- oh, they reboarded Shelly. Okay, nice. I love that. That's very kind of those musicians. They didn't steal him. Or her. We're gonna keep the toe and harness. Okay, I wanna head... I don't know why I have these little marks. That's a little far to go. Maybe we'll head this way because I want that's Misko's treasure. I want the climbing outfit. So we'll go here. And then we'll go here. We just doing lots of exploring today. Okay, so purple and then pink. Come on! I hope there's a bridge this way. There has to be. Maybe go do that train over there too. 
Oh, you're fine. You're good. I'm just gonna go see the shrine real quick. It's hidden. Papa. Backtrack. I have a triple threat key chain wall I keys lanyard in a backpack. Oh damn. I have a I have a lanyard. That I have. Um I have a backpack, but I don't really like using it. I'm not a backpack gay. I'm a tilt bag gay. I love tilt bag. Which is terrible for my back, but... Shit. Clever has like a little baby backpack though. It's very cute. Oh! Art! I don't want to have to go all the way back. There we go. Exactly, yeah, you use your yellow backpack or you carry your wallet up here. <laughs> Usually I will carry everything, which is fine, I don't mind. Sick! Great timing. <gasps> we uh okay must no okay got the little ball in... oh <laughs> in multiple holes okay Okay. Can I reach from over there? Oh, that's fun. Sick. Oh, that was a fun trend. I liked that. Yay, that was a good one.
Come here, horsey. Come on. Ah, there we are. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Go. Go. This is fine. No gloom is gonna pop out. This is fine. This is safe. Yeah, see, we're good. No. No gloom. I do not think I've been up there. Oh! signs keep getting taller and taller and taller. Oh, I never checked out what that, um, balloon was over by the other stable. Damn. You know, that was fair. That's on me. You're fine. Go like that. You know, worth a shot. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're seeing this guy a lot today. Yay, money. <laughs> Yay, food. And a mushroom. A bomb, even better. Alright. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go the pink one first. Is that like an enemy fort up there? She okay? Oh, morning. I keep hearing about the stylish clothes they make in Hatena Village. Take it from me, you can't underestimate the power of a good wardrobe. Used to be a total wallflower. Then I learned how to dress myself, and boom, I was a new woman. Maybe you should go to Hatena Village and take a look for yourself. Southeast Hyperfall. Oh, uh, I think it's probably over here somewhere. I have. Oh, holy shit. Well. Oh, fuck. I only got...
Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh... I don't want the horse to come in here where he's going to. Uh. Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh. They were protecting rock salt. Sure. Oh my god, are there people up here? Ooh. Hello. <gasps> Thank you, I'm saved. I despaired thinking no one would find me here. You might be one- you might be wondering how I got myself into this situation. A fine question. To explain it, I must tell you about the Blood Moon. Oh no, we know all about this. Ah, you got too close. Sick, thank you for the mushroom. Thank you for more food. Oh, hell yeah. Yo! Nice. <gasps> Ooh. Probably I should just do this guy. Because I love a good hoe. Nice. Alright, where's my horse? We could have run in here, guns ablazing with our horse. I still can't believe they rolled that thing. Oh my god. It's the fairy! I see her! Alright. Oh, oh god. <gasps> There's the purple puff! Hello, Miss Fairy. Hello. You can just mute me. I'm not offended at all. Oh! Have I been to this horse shrine? I don't think I have. Hello? Oh, the nerve of you coming here. Please go away. You're some monsters after my blessing to clothing enhancement. I'm not! I know it's true, my elder sister Tara told me. Even the music I love is gone. Until I hear the sound of a flute out in the world, I'll never go outside again. 
Oh. If I hear the sound of a flute played by a musician in a troupe, I'd feel cheered up enough. Alrighty. As you wish. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've been here. What in the hell happened here? Hi. Welcome! Yay! We got our bounty points! Uh, can I board my horse? Because I dropped Shelly off somewhere and I don't want to go back and get her. <laughs> I want to know what I get with my pony points. Oh. Ah. Yes. Ooh. Melania bed. Hell yeah. <gasps> oh. Ah. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's my coworker. Oh. Oh, partner, you here to investigate the rumors, too? I admire your spirit. Most folks would take one look at this weather and call it a day, but not you. You're the real deal. I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Yeah. Oh, you're also a reporter? I just had a bit of a strange experience, is all. What are we looking at? Oh? Mm. You see, I was by the debris near the three-way intersection up ahead when a woman came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her! Her life is in danger. It would only make it worse to reveal who she is. But please, you must save her. That's what she said to me. That's suspicious. The woman sounded really desperate, so I decided to follow her. But no matter how I tried, I couldn't keep up. Eventually, I lost track of her. That's all there is to it. Ah. Hey, partner. Does this... Uh, does something strike you as odd about this person whose identity can't be revealed? And if revealing who she is to strangers is dangerous, could she be someone of great importance? And if her life is already in danger, well, combining these facts makes me wonder if this isn't actually a particularly, or isn't actually a particular important person who has gone missing. I can't be sure, of course, but if there's a slight chance, there's only one way for us to know for sure, though. Now that I'm thinking about the whole thing again, why was the woman staring so hard at my hair? How strange. Do we have similar hair? No, mine's way nicer. Okay, is the music troop here? Oh, you mean tell me I came all this way to get a fairy? Oh, hey! Their thing broke again. Yes, hello! Hello, hello! I know you! Traveler, we've had a delightful development. Look! I mean, listen, it's Eustace. He and his horn are back in our troop. Heartbreaking to think of the fellow getting stuck in a hole on the way to Rito Village. I got him! Oh, that's the guy I got! Oh! Look at that, a side quest I did however long ago now important. But I'm glad he's out of his funk and fit as a fiddle. He says his horn will blow the stable trotters back on course. I better save some energy for the performance and not fritter it all away on chatting. By the way, I remember you, Traveler. Are you here to concern of the Great Fairy? Yes! No, I did come here to meet with the Great Fairy. She just won't... Ugh... He left sweet notes on his flute. Yeah. Where is Piper? Oh, Piper is a young flautist with the stable trotters. Oh, God. A traveler from far into the southeast said they heard the sound of a flute at Highland Stable, but... Okay, where's Highland Stable?
Damn. I came all this way for a fairy fountain. You can't even. Okay, well, since we're here, may as well do this side quest down here. No, my poor friend, please, you must save her. Blonde hair. I don't know who you are, but I ask you, please help me. My poor regal friend's life is in danger. I cannot reveal who she is, for that would only make things worse. She's in hiding and unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Please, I cannot help her all by myself. Okay. My friend is hiding right now. The only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. No, I'm gonna draw evil to her. Okay, what are we doing? The heck? Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh my, you were drenched. My apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken by my concern for my friend. I feel like you weren't. She is resting safely out of sight. It is the only way to stay safe. I'm sorry the path is so poor. I swear to God. What the shit? Where is this one? Also currently cannot climb anything because it's raining. Oh my lord. Oh my god, I thought that whole thing up there was falling. That scared the shit out of me. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. <laughs> 